So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. So any question that's four or more lines long, I call translate word problem questions. And all that means from a strategy standpoint is that you don't want to just read the entire question all the way through. Instead, you want to you know stop at the end of each sentence, make sure you understood what you read, and also definitely write down any quantitative information. So this question says Gisela would owe $15,500 in taxes each year if she were not eligible for any tax deductions. So I'm going to just write that down. Tax equals $15,500. Um, no deductions, so no dead. This year, Gisela is eligible for tax deductions that reduce the amount of taxes she owes by $23,25. So, you know, if I subtract 2325 from that value, I'm going to go to my calculator and say, okay, when she does have the eligibility, we have this 15,500 minus 2325. So her tax bill goes down to 13,175 for the tax. And I'll say with deductions. Okay. And then if these tax deductions reduce the taxes Gisela owes this year by D percent, right? So 2,325 is equal to D percent. What is the value of D? Well, then I just have to figure out, well, what, what percentage? So 2,325 over the 15,500, what percentage does that give me? Right? So, of course, I have to multiply by 100. But I just go to my calculator. Um, and say, well, 2325 divided by 15500, zero, zero, that's going to be equal to 0. 0.15. So times 100 is 15%. So don't keep in, just keep in mind when you find a percentage, you're looking for part over whole times 100. So hopefully you remember that. Um, so that's all I did. The part that was reduced is to 2325. The whole amount that it's being reduced from is the 15,500, and of course I multiply by 100. So our answer here for D is 15.